Hello and welcome to this OCAD tutorial in which I'd like to show you how to upload courses and maps out of OCAD directly to LifeLox. LifeLox, that's a web-based application for analysis of orienteering competitions and orienteering events. So you as an organizer, you have the possibility to upload maps and courses from your trainings and your competitions to LifeLox. And then the competitors, they have the possibility to upload their GPS tracks so they can see their routes here in LifeLox and compare their routes with uh, other competitors. I'm now on the LifeLox uh, website and I have here some uh, events listed that have been held recently. So I just click on such an event and uh, choose a class. To show you the purpose of LifeLox, you see now there is my map and the course of this class and all the participants that have run the, the course. And uh, I see here the, the route of such a competitor. And uh, as I have only a free LifeLox account, I see one competitor at once. If you have a subscription, you could also compare multiple competitors together. So that's really a nice tool for uh, post-race analysis. And uh, I'd like to show you now how you can upload courses and maps out of OCAD directly to LifeLox. For that, I go back to OCAD and I have here a course setting project with uh, two courses only, a difficult course and an easy course, and uh, two classes for each course. So four classes, two courses. I go to the course setting menu, and then I have here the option to upload to LifeLox. Before I need to save the course setting project, and then I am in the Upload to LifeLox dialog. I can here enter a name, so I just choose it the uh, City Sprint, that's fine. The map name, that's the background map I have loaded for this core setting project. Uh, map resolution, I choose medium quality, that's perfectly fine. And then I have to check my map and my courses. And you see the check was successfully and that's my map preview that will be loaded in LifeLox. So everything is fine. That's why I click on upload. And then I will be forwarded to the LifeLox page and I need to first log in. So if you have not a uh, LifeLox user account yet, please create such a LifeLox uh, account and log in as I have done now, to use this function. Also, if you are using this the first time, you will be asked for some uh, LifeLox authorization. Please find uh, more information about this step if you have any question in our OCAD wiki. But as I have uh, already uploaded some courses and maps, this step will not be uh, necessary for me. Now I am back in LifeLox and uh, you see here my map and I can check the georeferencing of my map. So with this slider to make sure if my map is uh, correctly georeferenced. That's of course very important for the GPS tracks later on that they fit with the map. Then I can create a new event or update an existing event. I will create a new event. On this side, I can enter some uh, general information about my city sprint. So name is the city sprint, that's fine. As a start time, I choose 11 o'clock and the end time will be today at uh, six o'clock. Then for organizing club, I can also enter an organization, for example, OCAT, and this race will be held in Switzerland. And event type, it's an individual race, not a relay. And here I have the possibility to 
show the event in the event list. That's what I like to do. You could also uh, unselect this button so your map will not be listed in the event list. I save the settings and uh, here I have uh, the summary of my event. So there, that's me as an administrator. We have uh, four classes, no participant data yet. That's the map I have uploaded, two courses. And uh, very important, this is the access restriction. So who is uh, allowed to see the event? Is it anyone? Is it uh, requiring a password? Or are there only people from your organization that should see the event? And also the time restrictions are very important. So when should the, the event map and courses uh, get public? We have now uploaded the courses and the maps, but they are not public yet. So it's uh, so it means you cannot uh, see the maps already now, and that's of course the purpose that the maps will get public and the courses after the event. So study these uh, settings carefully and make sure you find the right settings here. I'm back in the Manage Event uh, dialog and now I could click on Show Event. That's my event and I just click on a class to see how it looks like in the web browser. You see my map and the course and uh, also all the numbering, the position of the controls and control numbers and all the gaps here, they are exactly the same as in OCAD. If you go now back to the event list, and uh, I filter for Switzerland, I see that my event is now listed here. And if I click now on this event, then I get probably scared because uh, these categories, they are already live. But uh, don't be scared, that's just because I'm uh, logged in. If I go to another browser, I'm not logged in here. Then I can also uh, filter and see my event. But you see here that uh, the classes, they are still hidden and that the event will be available at uh, 6 p.m. That's the end date I have specified for my event. So everything is fine. I'm back to OCAD and now I like to uh, make some changes to update my event. For example, I uh, add a new course, let's call it medium course. And uh, then I will assign uh, two classes to this course. Okay, and of course, add some controls to it. Just do it uh, very quickly. That's how it looks like. And uh, now I can go to uh, upload to LiveLogs again. And uh, check it again. And uh, Probably what I also like to do is, uh, here I have the whole map preview. Um, maybe you only want to have uh, the northern part of the map in LiveLogs, so that uh, not everybody can see the southern part. Maybe there is a competition uh, later on on this part. So I close this uh, dialog again. For that I go to File, Export. And then I have here my export extent. And uh, now I will only adjust this extent to the northern part. So there is no uh, thousand part now on my extent. I close this window again. 
And if I go to upload to live logs once more, check, you see that my map preview that it will only upload now this northern part and not the southern part. I will now update my existing event. And uh, the upload was successfully, so I opened the event again in LiveLogs. You see now that there are two more classes. And I can edit the, the event and now my map is also uh, smaller. The map extent is smaller, so not the whole map is now available on LiveLogs. Let's have a quick uh, check. Perfect. So that's, that's how it uh, works, the upload function in OCAD. Uh, it's pretty easy and uh, pretty straightforward. If there are any questions, don't forget to look in our OCAD wiki or you can also contact us directly. Thank you for watching this video and uh, see you next time.